Greetings, fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. And what do we have here? It's two huge Star Wars X-Wing ships. Uh, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning because these arrived in the post this morning and as you can see, they're lovely pre-painted huge ships. Let's have a look at them. We'll start with the smallest one, the Rebel Transport, which comes with an extra X-Wing fighter. Let's have a look inside. Ooh, look at all the bits! Ripping off the shrink wrap. Now I don't need to tell you folks who live in the Southern Hemisphere, like myself, that these are pretty pricey. But I think they'll really jazz up those games of Star Wars X-Wing. And they do look spectacular. And look, I've ripped the box already because I'm so eager and I'm doing it from a funny angle so I can show you. This is the kind of sacrifice that the Esoteric Order of Gamers makes for your pleasure. But they are slightly flimsy boxes, as you can see. We've got a very large stand. Heavy flight stands. There's two of them there. And a whole bunch of counters. Look inside. That appears to be a flight stand piece, large flight stand piece, movement dials, special range ruler. And that looks interesting. What's going on there? This must be our rule sheet. Oh, look at this. Some kind of fleet. Mission Resources Sheet, two of those. Here's our rules. And, oh, there's some cards. Small stand for the X-Wing fighter. And let's have a look at the model itself. There's another stand. There's two large stands. <gasps> it's huge! Look at the size of it! I wasn't expecting that. Eh. Out you come, my pretty! Well, there you have it. It's like a giant shark. I love all these storage containers on the bottom in different colours. That's great. Very nice indeed. Lovely paint job too. There it is. Wow. Okay, let's get all that out of the way and check out the Tantai 4. Well, the Rebel Transport would have been very exciting on its own, but it does tend to pale into insignificance next to this beast. The Tantai 4. Let's have a look inside. Be a little bit more careful now and try not to damage the box. This is going to take up quite a bit of storage space. Yes, a bit of a design flaw on these boxes here, these very flimsy bits. Oh well. So, lots more cardboard, cargo container, Ooh. new combat rules there, cards, two bases. Light stands. Rule book and mission booklet. Wow, lots to digest here. But let's have a look. Just a lot of plastic involved in this packaging, isn't there? Uh. Oh, I see. It's been... 
attached in with these, like a lovely piece of electronics. How to come Wow, that really is something. Well, this is certainly going to dominate the battlefield. And isn't it funny how just a hunk of decorated plastic can be so evocative. Love that. Look at that view screen at the front. Isn't that great? So there we have it folks, the Tantai 4. It's an impressive model. And um, despite the exorbitant cost, especially when you get it down here to New Zealand, it really is something else, and I just love these large models. So, hope you've enjoyed this look at the Tantai 4 and the Rebel Transport.